Ah, Hollywood. It's a place of glitz and glamour, but it's also home to some undesirable things. There is no industry quite like show business regarding jaw-dropping celebrity scandals, from heated affairs and ugly divorces to horrifying tragedies and family-destroying feuds. Welcome back to our channel. Part 2 of Celebrity Scandals You Never Knew About is finally here. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you can do so by clicking here. Alright everyone, buckle up, sit down and get ready for a bumpy ride. The Malfunction of Janet Jackson's Wardrobe There may have been other events at the 2004 Super Bowl, but the only thing that will go down in history is that awful halftime show. When Justin Timberlake tore a piece of Janet Jackson's bustier, the world saw her bare breast, which was covered by a nipple shield. 540,000 complaints were made, which infuriated the NFL and the FCC, and sparked a national debate over the perceived decline of morality in America. While JT, who didn't stand up for Jackson, got away with it, Janet's career never recovered. But the scandal gave us the now ubiquitous phrase, wardrobe malfunction. The Divorce of Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt In a statement released in January 2005, Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston declared their separation after seven years of marriage. At the time, allegations about Pitt having an affair with Angelina Jolie during the previous year's filming of their movie, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, were already circulating. The two were in love when photos of them on vacation together in the summer of 2005 were taken. Thus began years and years of tabloid magazine covers claiming that Jennifer Aniston is dreadfully lonely. George W. Bush's Remark to Kanye West One of Kanye's most enduring quotes is when he deviated from the script during a 2005 NBC Universal telethon for Hurricane Katrina's victims. He has said many things over the years that have generated a lot of conversation, but this one will always stand out. When speaking in front of Mike Myers, Kanye improvised, closing his remarks about his concerns with the relief effort by saying, George Bush doesn't care about black people. For days, the outlandish remark dominated cable news, and W eventually referred to it as the all-time low of his presidency. Mel Gibson's Anti-Semitic Rant His career was destroyed when the original Mad Max was pulled over and informed that he would be arrested for drunk driving. Gibson asked the officer, are you a Jew? during an anti-Semitic tirade, stating to her that the Jews are to blame for all world wars. As for whatever sugar tits means, he also gave her that nickname. Gibson was persona non grata for a good 10 years, but this year's nomination for Hacksaw Ridge's Best Director Oscar suggests that he's coming back. Jesse James's Cheating Scandal When news broke in March 2010 that Sandra Bullock's husband, Monster Garage host Jesse James had cheated with Michelle Bombshell McGee, she had recently won an Oscar for her work in The Blind Side. James publicly apologized after admitting the affair, but four additional women were quickly identified as his mistresses. Bullock filed for divorce at the end of April. The Breakdown of Amanda Bynes In 2012, the former Nickelodeon star struggled. She once begged Barack Obama to sack the officer who handled her DUI arrest on Twitter after she was arrested. There were the allegations of hit and runs, the cheek piercings, the pink wig, and the plans to sue each news organization that published an article about her. Of course, nobody could forget the time she requested that Drake kill her vagina in a tweet. Fortunately, she soon received the support she required. Racist slur by Paula Deen a former employee filed a lawsuit against Paula Dean in June 2013, alleging that Dean had made multiple racial remarks. In a deposition, Dean acknowledged using the N-word in the past, such as when she informed her husband that a black thief had held her at gunpoint in the 1980s. But as time passed, she continued, that's just not a word that we use. In the South, things have altered since the 1960s. After her reputation took a hit, and several of her business partners, including the Food Network, fled the area, the lawsuit was ultimately dismissed in August. Dylan Farrow's Accusations Against Woody Allen Dylan Farrow's 1992 claim that her father, Woody Allen, had sexually assaulted her when she was seven years old was revived when the New York Times published an open letter she wrote to him in February 2014. 
the director retaliated in the Times with an article of his own, in which he maintained his innocence. The two pieces sparked a nationwide discussion, and whenever performers agree to work on a new Allen project, there is consistently negative feedback on social media. Jay-Z and Solange's Elevator Fight When the video of Solange Knowles assaulting Beyoncé's husband, Jay-Z, during a Met Gala after-party surfaced in May 2014, elevators were more culturally significant then than ever. Ten days later, the three of them issued a unified statement claiming that the family had worked through it, but they did not mention how. Everything might fall apart when there are a billion dollars in an elevator, as Queen Bey crooned in her furious song, Flawless. Comments made by Juliana Rancic about Zendaya The fashion police host destroyed her own career when she said that Zendaya's Oscar night dreadlocks made her appear like she smelled like patchouli oil or cannabis in February of 2015. In response, Zendaya called out the spread of a racist stereotype in an Instagram post. Although Rancic offered her apology, Kelly Osborne left the program. Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck's Divorce After 10 years of marriage, Hollywood power couple Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner announced their separation at the end of June 2015. Reports that Affleck had an affair with the family's nanny, Christine Uzunian, quickly surfaced. However, Garner didn't declare that the alleged liaison had nothing to do with the choice to divorce until the following March. Britney Spears' Breakdown Britney Spears was already having a tough time by the time 2007 rolled around. She married and divorced K-Fed in the prior years, was busted while driving with her child in her lap, and began going out with Paris Hilton. Then, however, she shaved her head, performed Gimme More in a horrible manner for the VMAs, and had her kids taken away from her. On the plus side, the year also saw the release of Spears' best-selling album, Blackout, and she has since turned her life around. Chris Brown's Assault on Rihanna The night before the Grammy Awards on February 8, 2009, Chris Brown attacked Rihanna, leaving her with severe contusions, a split lip, and a bleeding nose. Following Rihanna's hospitalization, Brown was accused of felony assault. He received more than 1,400 hours of labor-oriented service and five years of probation. Brown claimed in a 27 documentary that the singer's attack on him will haunt him forever. Taylor Swift was interrupted by Kanye West The most famous acceptance speech in history will always be remembered for what it didn't say rather than what it did say. When Kanye West snatched Taylor Swift's microphone at the 2009 VMAs and said, I'ma let you continue, but in protest of her victory over Beyonce in the category of Best Female Video, he sparked both a fierce backlash against him and ardent support for the rising pop sensation. That was only the beginning, of course. Tiger Woods' Scandal of Cheating When the National Enquirer revealed in November 2009 that the golf world's golden child had been having an affair with a nightclub hostess, he immediately became the face of infidelity worldwide. Woods expressed regret and stated he had let his family down when US Weekly revealed a cocktail waitress as another mistress. The number of exposed mistresses quickly increased to 14, and Woods entered himself into a sex addiction treatment facility in December, inspiring everyone's new go-to joke. And that's all for this video. We'll be back soon with more exciting videos just for you. Don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed it. See all of you in the next video.